Why I have just potted that black ball with right hand side. And this video, what I'd like to explain is why people, generally speaking, do not like that shot. Right, if I played that ball, playing ball, and by playing ball I mean using centre ball striking, yeah, there's a ten because of the angle of the shot, there's a tendency to squeeze that red towards the cushion. Okay, so I would, as a general rule, if I aimed to pot it, I would possibly hit this near jaw. So I have to be aware of that and possibly aim for the far jaw. It's a sort of a squeeze effect. If you remember my video with the squeeze plant, if I hit that ball, the far red would hit the top cushion. If I hit it that way, it would probably go into the pocket. All right? Well, it's a bit like that with the cue ball, but not quite so much. There's still be the squeeze effect, but certainly not as much as if there was two balls there. But it's part of the reason people would prefer to play that shot with left hand side from this side of the table, which would become helping side. So what happens here, I play it with helping side from there. And most players would prefer to play that shot that way. I emphasize most, not all, okay? What is the reasoning behind it? Well, if we start to look at the physics behind it, this white ball, when I play with left hand side, is going to get squeezed that way. We've started to look at that, and the better you hit the ball, the less that squeeze will be. So working on hitting the ball nicely will help anyway. Added to that now, these days, We've got the choice between a brass ferrule and a titanium ferrule. And titanium ferrules tend not to throw the ball that way quite so much anyway. Question of which you, the player prefers, but either one, you'll have to, certainly have to get used to you. Right, so let's come back to this. With left, um, left hand side, right, that ball is spinning that way. Okay, it's spinning that way. So what tends to happen, I'm spinning into the body of the ball, the main body of the ball. All right, so the ball will get kicked that way, slightly, very slightly. So it tends to help the, the angle of the shot. What you're doing is aiming for the pocket, and because of that side, it will go into the pocket. If I'd played it, played it plain ball, tendency is add it this near jaw. Now we come to the right hand side from this side of the table. Right, again, what is tending to happen? We're pushing the white out that way. Right, better again, we come back, the better you hit the ball, or the titanium felt may, may just reduce that throw that way. But now the ball is spinning this way. And the theory is that that red would get kicked that way. But here's the slight anomaly. Remember, with the left hand side, we're going into the body of the ball. With the right hand side, we're going away from the body of the ball. So the kick is going to be marginally less. And this is why it is one of the most difficult shots and people don't like it. Added to that, if we play this shot with power, left hand side, yeah, a little bit of power, it makes the, the shot complicated and slightly more difficult. Of course it does. But it's still quite an easy shot for a decent player. Once you add power with the right hand side, yeah, that throw is more and the kick doesn't happen, so we tend to miss the shot. There, I've missed it thin. Okay, so I would have to practice that shot 
to make sure that they get it right. What I want to emphasize is I'm playing from this side of the table, the green side of the table, right? So left hand side is what we would call helping side. Bearing in mind when you play from that side, the yellow side of the table, then helping side is now right hand side. Okay, you beginners, please don't forget that. <laughs> okay, the physics behind it is tricky. The only one thing we'll teach you is that get your technique right, learn to hit the ball smoothly, and then practice, practice, practice. Good luck with that practice.